The human body is capable of enduring many different environments. From Antarctica to the highest mountains, we've managed to find a way of enduring the cold. But would you really want to strip almost naked and stand in temperatures of minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit? That's colder than the coldest place on Earth. But decathlete Mustafa Abdur Rahim is about to do just that. Mustafa has volunteered to test a new treatment called whole body cryotherapy. He's using it to see if it will help his body recover from his intense training regime. We've known for years that cold water and ice help athletes recover because we're able to um, shrink blood vessels and uh, slow the release of white blood cells to the body. White blood cells cause pain and inflammation and impede healing. Cryotherapy takes that idea much further. This brand new machine aims to use the freezing cold to help the body heal itself quicker. Now it's getting there. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Temperature in the chamber can get down to negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. What we normally keep it at is about negative 240 to 250 Fahrenheit. That's the optimal level, optimal temperature. It feels like I'm on the top of Everest, even though I've never been there. We're just running cold air over the surface of the skin. The surface of the skin, it only goes half a millimeter deep, so it's not a penetrating cold and you're not freezing any tissue. The freezing temperature in the chamber encourages blood to rush from skin and muscles to the core of the body. As the blood rushes to the core, it circulates in the core for about two to two and a half minutes. And then uh, after exit of the chamber, uh, the body vasodilates, and there's a flush of red blood cells uh, to the extremities and the joints and throughout the whole body. I really, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> so it wasn't that bad. It was nice. It was really cold, though, but a different kind of like just ambiance cold, not like imposing and pressure on your body. You know what I mean? But that was good. The benefits to athletes are going to be they're going to recover quicker. If you'll talk to any coach in just about any sport or any athlete in any discipline, um, they're going to tell you the whole key is recovery. If they can recover faster, go back into another intense workout where their opponent can't, they gain an edge. <laughs> 